Welcome to another Law Class Pro Tip featuring CLG Double Lift on Twitch. And this actually ties into one question that someone else had. In team fighting with Twitch, if you're in a situation where you're forced to team fight with him, um, do you prefer going with more standard AD carry positioning, being in the back, having people protect you? Or will you sometimes try to stealth and come in from a flank and take out one of those backliners? Uh, it depends on what the enemy AD carry is. So if it's like Caitlyn or Lucian, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. But if it's like a Kog'Maw or a Jinx, then you can you can easily flank and go in. But like I said, it just depends. Like if they have an Elise who's just playing protect and like you're gonna hit by a cocoon, then don't do it. And you can just kill their front line. Uh, but ideally in a team fight, you want to start it off with ambush all the time. The attack speed zero is what really makes Twitch like over the top OP. So in team fights, just look to like stealth right as the fight is starting, just so you can get that attack speed boost. Uh, boost. Okay, so he got the flay. He hooked the jump. This is like a thresh highlight reel. I mean, he can. He doesn't. He didn't need a, a flash there. That was actually super bad. When you already don't have any mobility. You don't need to flash for the kill, so like this is just like a good play by Thresh overall. Um, I think Twitch f started it off with W so that Thresh could walk up play, and then after the walk up play, you can just hook your sound like that. I mean, you're not supposed to be able to hook her out of her jump, but uh, that was a good play by Thresh. Then after that, uh, you don't need to get the kill. Like Thresh can just take the kill, and it's not a big deal. Uh, blowing your flash to make up the difference between a kill and an assist is not good. If it was like she would have gotten away if uh, he didn't flash, it would have been good. But the thing is, she would have died anyways, and Twitch would have gotten still assist money. But instead he blew his flash for that extra 100 gold. And it's like, oh, what are you doing? That's kind of a waste. Let's address a couple of questions here in the chat, because we're just about out of time here. Uh, there's one, any general tips for trading in the bot lane with Twitch? Uh, yeah, you want to always make sure your W isn't staggering in auto. So start off with W before your auto attacks before you even auto attack, or or W the second your auto attack comes out, because staggering autos is like the worst on Twitch. It is so bad because his damage is primarily based on how many auto attacks he can get off consecutively in a trade. Short trades are really bad for Twitch. Longer trades, he's pretty much always going to win. And I want to clarify in case anyone is, is not 100% sure what he means by staggering auto attacks. He's talking about never allowing the animation of throwing the W to delay one of your auto attacks. Yeah, exactly. Like canceling your auto attack animation with the W so that the W is completely done by the time you're allowed to auto attack again. Thanks for tuning in to another Law Class Pro Tip. Remember to thumbs up the video if you liked it and stay tuned and subscribe for more content.